Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Aquarius. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Aquarius. All right, so today we'll be working with Archangel Haniel and we've got the 10th house card of the world. Here we got the Six of Swords. Um, we also have our lovely question here from the Fearlessly Authentic deck called Connection. What is your connection? And so I do feel a really grounded energy around you right now, Aquarius. And I think a lot of your connection has to do with Mother Earth. Maybe it's been you taking little hikes or little trips or just getting out in nature every day. But there's some things going on here. Ooh, King of Swords. So we have some things from the past that you've been kind of trying to deal with in your mind. And I think for that reason, there's just been this really, really... Um, grounded energy about you just because you've been taking the time for yourself to do the things that you need to do to make yourself happy instead of being in a situation where you would ask for somebody else to fill your cup you're doing that for yourself now so we have the queen of swords here we do have the king of swords so there is a partnership coming in here it could very well also signify a partnership from the past um, that kind of went sour um, we do have the page of swords um, and that also talks about this understanding of knowing what kind of happened in a situation and kind of knowing all avenues of that situation and kind of proceeding forward, you know, um, dealing with the stuff that was became baggage at some point in your life with the Six of Swords. Because I think you were just like holding on to too much with this King of Swords. This person, um, I think that there was a situation where they kind of either they had an addiction issue that they kind of had to get over or maybe they were um, a cheater or, you know, there was some type of bad behavior that really needed to be corrected. And I think once that King of Swords met you, Queen of Swords watching you take all the things out of your life that's not in alignment with you, well, then it did something. It changed things. The Page of Swords comes in, and it's like gaining your power back, gaining that insight back, knowing exactly what happened and not being in a space where you're blind about the situation. And I think because um, of that situation, well, you know, there was heartbreak. We got the Four of Swords here. I mean, it really shows that. When we have the World card, there is this completion. There is this contract that's completed here. And whatever the case may be that happened in that partnership, well, there is this redefinition of what you guys are to each other. And so whether that be male, female, uh, cross watchers, or anyone tuning in, I just wanted to put out there really quick, Sometimes this will resonate with you and other times it will not. Today is one of those days of self-reflection. You know, we're asking ourselves, what's the connection? Nine of Cups comes in and says you're filling your own cup. Exactly what I was saying about this Queen of Swords. So this is just a validation to me as to kind of the trauma that you just experienced not that long ago, Aquarius. Unless you are still kind of sitting in that situation with that person, you're just like, why do I keep doing this? What is it about this person that... I really need to have in my life and I think this is this evaluation of knowing that there is something ending here and that possibly something new could come in because we do have the connection card here and we do have beauty with Archangel Haniel. All right, so we have strength. So you do have the power to separate from the situation. You do have the power to separate from this energy if you choose to, Aquarius. It's kind of really up to you what place you're going to take in your own life as far as this individual's concern. Are you going to take the back burner like they always treated you? Because, you know, we do have heartbreak for a sword. You felt like you were going to die. You really <laughs> felt like you were going to die at some point. You know, your heart was so dang broken. It's like, why does this person keep pulling this nonsense? Well, why do they keep pulling this nonsense? Because you're the one that's allowing this, Aquarius. you got to be like, no, game over. I know what's up here. Okay. Two of Wands. 
Yep, coming in to take ownership of your life. Um, this is also can be you in a state of being powerful in your own right with yourself, not having to rely upon anybody, not having to, you know, ask permission to go places or, or do things. You know, there's no control here. I think possibly there could have been some control in the past from this person in the past situation. But I think you kind of understood that. You know, you started filling your cup. You did go through this healing period because the Four of Swords, when that comes in, it does talk a little bit about this healing period that you had to go through. But Two of Wands also can be, you know, that sacred partnership coming in as well. All right, so maybe possibly making some room in your life, Aquarius, for this new connection, just saying. <laughs> I knew it. Here we go. Knight of Wands. So yeah, it's a new connection. It's a new love. You know, you're not going to be, you already played that last game. You're ready for a new chapter in your life. You're done playing games. I want real connection. Okay. Yep, Empress, because you're standing in some strong power right now for yourself. And I think for that reason, Aquarius, you're just like, no, the next person that comes has got to bring it. You just got to bring it. I'm serious. Just not playing games anymore with people. You got to bring this. Oop, the unknown card. Okay, so that shows that there was some space. Maybe there's some time of self-reflection uh, that happened there. And here we go, Page of Wands. Yeah, you started realizing that you had a, a partnership moving towards you in the past because we do have the Two of Wands here that really speaks about love in the Page of Wands here. We also have our dragon. And so I'm going to show you guys this. is like that, that person was longing to have you in their life. And now you're playing to a new tune, right? And so there is a significant, powerful energy of our dragon. And so it does give us strength and power when we want to move out of a situation. The unknown card, I think this was you at some point, not knowing what the heck was going on. All right, this was the unknown. You were sitting in that like, what is going on? Some days they like me and some days they don't. Like, really? Aquarius, don't let people do that to you. Just saying. All right. Ooh, I'm just going to pull that last card. We got seven of wands. Yeah. You know, I think you've been fighting this fight for too long. You've been fighting this fight for way too long. It's time for you to take ownership of your life. It's time for you to end the contract. That's what the 10 of. 10, uh, 10th house, the world card talks about, you know, let's, let's actually talk about that card, by the way, because I think I want to get right into that. You know, I think it's important when we have the influence of certain planets come in and just kind of jumble things up and we're like, Oh gosh, that was a lot. No, actually it wasn't. You need to just stir the pot in order for things to move. Just saying. So this is a fame card also. You know, it is the 10th house. It's a desire for fame or the in attempts to gain that future vision of you being in fame. It's a very ambitious card. Um, it's about owning the world and being on top of the world. It's about the ultimate card to have uh, when you're, you know, in need of being confident and in need of really knowing what you're doing and going for what you want. So the 10th house card is really, really strong here and powerful. That's why I said over here, you were filling your own cup. I mean, that's what this is. That's just a validation to me. You know, you kind of remove some layers of illusion with this situation here. I don't know, you know, there could have been a love interest in the past that as you you climbed to fame or as you climbed to fortune, that person was blocking you from some stuff because now that you got the block out, nine of cups, fill in your own cup, the world card, having the world at your feet, being more established. It's like playing along with the status quo just to get ahead, okay? This could be a lot of different things. This is also about paying your dues, 
you know, when the world card, in, you know, is, is creating this ending here, is saying that that contract is complete, you know, sometimes we should take advantage of that energy and use it to our benefit so that we can fill our own cups. And it looks to me that that's what you did here, Aquarius. Just saying. All right, so let's move into our next set of cards here. And I love these, my new cards um, that a friend bought me, and they're called Archangel Metatron. And really cool cards here because sometimes they give us that spiritual insight of what we are really, really asking for. And so I like to pull these just to kind of get an idea. Pull two extra cards here. That Nine of Cups and that Page of Wands is like, just want you to know that you're in a really powerful energy right now, Scorpio. I mean, you have that 10th house influencing you right now, and that's a strong, powerful card. And that can lead you right into major abundance. But you got to stick to your truth, which you are with the Empress card here. Okay? All right, so let's get to a couple of these cards. I usually will pull like three of these. So let's talk a little bit about this. Ooh, hear and know me, inner child. So yeah, there was some stuff that had to be dealt with. Maybe this person from the past really made you feel alone. You know, maybe there was a, a part that they triggered in you that kind of had to be dealt with. That's what this pain was here, is that you had to do some inner child work. You had to go in and pull out all the pains and hurts from the past or from this situation and really heal that. You know, when I think of Aquarius, you know, when we're in that kind of energy, it's just like the cat. It's like we're licking our paw, you know. Don't lick your paw anymore for this. Stand in your power. Stand in your truth. Go with this new love situation coming in. Don't do the past. Look, king of swords, queen of swords, usually they fight. Just saying. All right, we got the Kundalini untapped energy. So yeah, I think you did have some insight here about the situation. And maybe that's why things went the way that they did. There was some fighting. I mean, that's what that Six of Swords shows right off the get-go. You guys were fighting. Maybe they were pulling their direction. You were pulling your direction. But definitely the Page of Swords kind of settled it. It was like, mm -mm, I'm going to settle that and end that game once and for good. Okay, because that's what the Page of Swords says. Four of Swords is like moving into healing. Nine of Cups, well, we just took back our own power. Just saying. All right, so we have the Mirrors You. So, yeah, this person actually went and got you to a place where you were able to trigger some stuff that really needed some healing. I think at the time that there was a situation that really asked for you to do some awareness, you know, some getting some insight about what that main situation was all about. And then coming to terms with it and being like, ow, oh, that one hurt, but I got to get through it. I want more. I want better. I'm done with this contract. I'm looking for more abundance. And this is not an abundance thing for me at this time. Integration. So we do have integration going on right here. You are transforming. You're getting idea. You're knowing what's going on. You're really allowing yourself to be in a higher state of awareness where you can seek things out better. And, you know, create that love for your life again. Ooh, that person made you crazy. Why'd you even stay that long with that person? Just saying. Ooh. Well, that's probably what all the fighting was over. You were like, gosh, this person is a uh, loony, toony. So, just saying, Aquarius. All right, so here we go postponement. So I think that you maybe put your life on the back burner for this individual Aquarius. Maybe you wouldn't have gained that if you wouldn't have, you know, really uh, pulled game over card. 
So I think that you were after something more grander and it kind of showed up. That's what the cards are saying here for you, Aquarius. All right, let's pull one more. Ooh, aloneness. So yeah, this person really wasn't putting you first. This person wasn't, you know, really honoring you in the partnership. Or maybe if this is backwards, maybe you weren't honoring somebody in a partnership. Things had to evolve the way that they did. I don't think that there's anything wrong here other than the fact that there were some really good harsh lessons that had to be learned. Which is like, ooh, that's a lot. I mean, that really is a lot. You know, I think I want to talk about this angel card a little bit more in depth. Um, just because I think that it would be important to really gain a little bit more knowledge into what the angels are doing to inspire this new growth, this new path for you. Because uh, that's what I'm seeing, you know. I think that the Archangel Haniel is all about comedy, tragedy, art, mountain, city, child, all things that contain the glory and the light of God. And so, you know, when we experience beauty in the world, we're actually experiencing this state of grace and connection for all that is. And it's interesting how we have this connection card that comes <laughs> and supports that, right? So I'm going to ask you, Aquarius, what is the connection? You've created this connection for yourself. You've created this new situation. You're sitting in Empress Energy. There was a lot of unknowns from the past. Do you want to go back into that situation? Do you want to can't call game over now? Because I would say that. Game over now. All right, what do we got? Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So that's our first uh, Lever's Oracle card here. Mm. Poor Aquarius. There's some parts of this where I just want to love on you guys and hug you. Person making you crazy and stuff. Call game over now. That's what I would do. Because look, there's a new romance on the horizon. Cupid's arrow is striking. You got this Prince Charming, Princess Charming coming in. So if you liked my reading today, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, all my information on how to donate to my channel is in that description box below. All the information on how to book a reading with me is in that description box below as well. And a little story about, you know, my background. So you get to know me better. Because I do want to get to know you guys a lot more. Alright. So thanks again for sharing your time today. And stopping by and listening. And gaining awareness and insight into your life Aquarius some things change and sometimes better things come in so I feel like this individual is going to be a lot more um, emotionally geared towards you so enjoy enjoy all right love you so much please call game over now namaste